Sonic Eggman here reviewing Cursed Castilla on iOS. There's something very awesome playing a game made by people who truly love the arcade and console games of the 80s and 90s. Small details other developers would miss are painfully included with every pixel and animation created. Curse Castilla is a great example of just that, being a love letter to ghouls and ghosts with hints of Castlevania and Capcom's Black Tiger thrown in for good measure. Right off the bat you can tell exactly what developer Loco Malito was going for when he created this excellent action platformer. Published by Abilat Studios, Curse Castilla is a way more approachable ghouls and ghosts style game designed to teach rather than punish. The levels are divided into more consumable sized chunks than the original arcade inspiration, making deaths more of an annoyance than a reason to break your device. Curse Castilla was first released on the PC back in 2012 and has since been basically ported to everything. The version I'm reviewing is the iOS mobile version, something I've never done before, but heck I like a challenge so let's get stuck into it. First things first, and this is in no way a comment on the game, but trying to hook one of my many Bluetooth controllers up to an iPad is basically impossible. I love Apple products, but their inability to support non-licensed peripheries is ridiculous and really hinders the experience in games like these. Anyway, enough ranting, this port features two on-screen view and control options. I preferred the Game Boy style vertical orientation for the iPad, but I'm sure the horizontal switch style view would have been handy for playing on your iPhone. I love the extra detail given to the interface with artwork that looks like a cross between an arcade cabinet and an old school handheld Nintendo product. I actually thought about buying a Mac compatible controller for the review as I thought I was doing the game an injustice, but the touchscreen worked well enough and the gameplay as a whole was still lots of fun. The graphics look realistically retro with scan lines added for good measure making the whole experience feel super authentic. The main character Don Romero feels like a better animated Arthur with extra frames of animation added to make the game feel like a high-end 16-bit game rather than a cheap ripoff. The physics of the good Don's jumps did feel a little odd to me, but that's only because I've played the original Ghouls and Ghosts so much as a kid. One of the rad features this game includes is the ability to scale the difficulty. This game isn't the toughest in the world, but having to play with the iPad touchscreen controls with three hit deaths would have driven me insane. Too many times I let my finger slip off the space where the D-pad was supposed to be and made a silly mistake. It also includes a speedrun feature where a clock is placed on the screen at all times letting you know how you're going. It's not much, but little touches like this only go to help add to the authentic retro feel this game encapsulates so well. Curse Castilla also includes four different endings which is rad and really adds to the replay value, two of which require not continuing more than once, something I wasn't able to do on the iPad. The level design features a ton of hidden passages and treasures, again making this feel a lot like a classic rather than an imitation. The sound is completely authentic, featuring symphonic compositions similar to the likes of any of the 16-bit Castlevania games. It's dark but keeps you going as you progress through the increasingly more difficult levels. The game also comes with a rag codex explaining all of the game's heroes and villains. It's a nice touch and even includes the most dreaded enemy of them all. The Frog. Who apparently even sometimes wears armour. Uh, uh, absolutely terrifying. I couldn't recommend this game enough for fans of the old horror arcade platformers. Even with the constraints of a device that was basically designed to use Facebook, it plays really well. That was Curse Castilla on iOS. Thanks for watching guys, definitely grab this one on one of the many, many platforms it exists on. If you don't like it, I'll come to your house and mow your lawn. That's a Sonic Eggman guarantee. Sonic Eggman will not come to your house and mow your lawn. Sonic Eggman out.